Hi, this is Tom Greenwood from sydneyportraits.com.au. Now in this clip, we're looking at how to create that lovely blurred effect in the background of your portraits. Now there are four main factors affecting the amount of blur you create in the background of your shots. The first is the aperture you use. The second is the distance between the subject and the background. The third is the distance between the camera and the subject. And the fourth is the kind of lens you're using, whether it's a wide angle, a normal lens, or a, a long lens. First, let's look at aperture. Now we're in the park, and our subject is two or three meters in front of the rocks that make the background. Here we're shooting at 50 millimeters. Now this first shot uses an aperture of f11. Fairly small aperture, and as you can see, there's an element of blur, but not very much. If we take the same shot at f4, which is a fairly wide aperture, we can see the background is quite nicely blurred, and the subject stands out in contrast. So the wider the aperture, the narrower the depth of focus, and therefore the blurrier the background. Now let's have a look at the distance between the subject and the background. So in this first shot, the subject is the same two to three meters from the rocks. And now using the same 70 millimeter lens and the same aperture of f5.6, the subject is less than a meter from the background. So clearly the greater the distance between the subject and the background, the more blurred the background will be. So now let's look at the distance between the camera and the subject. Both of these shots are shot at 40 millimeters and an aperture of f5.6. The first shot is taken from about two and a half meters from the subject. And this shot is about one and a half meters. Now it's not the most dramatic example, but you can clearly see a more blurred background the closer you, the photographer, are to the subject. Now let's have a look at the optical length of the lens. So once more, our subject is about two or three meters from the rocks, and the aperture is 5.6 in both shots. Now this is shot at 24 millimeters, so quite wide. Now this is shot with a much longer lens, a 70 millimeter. You can see the difference in perspective, also the increased blur with the 70 millimeter lens. Finally, let's put together a number of these factors. Here we're using a long lens, 135 millimeters, and the trees in the background are really quite a distance away, something like half a kilometer. This shot uses an aperture of f11, whereas here we switch to f2.8. Our subject is lovely and crisp, and the background has that beautiful, soft, blurry texture. I hope you found this clip useful. Please leave a comment and take a look at some of the other clips in the series. Good luck and happy snapping. Mm -hmm.